Hey everyone, DJ Royd here, and uh, I haven't done a video in a really, really long time. I have a bunch of old footage I still have to edit, and uh, looking back on it, I have to redo a few things. Um, I just got out of homecoming season, so I apologize. Um, I have a few clips I shot on my phone from the four homecomings I DJed at, and uh, hopefully I'll put together a small little video for that as well. Um, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about a bag. Now, this may seem a little bit weird, but <clears throat> here's the thing. One thing that I've seen is there's a lot of DJ bags out there, um, and typically they're expensive. Um, some aren't so expensive, but the thing is, they're made in one way, and basically you have to conform to it. And uh, usually you want something in one certain place, but it never works out because you always have to conform to the pockets of where they are and how everything is. Now, can you imagine a bag that is like Legos? Basically, you build it the way you want it. Um, that's what I got here. Right here, we have the Equilibrium uh, Recon Bag. This is the 17-inch version, the full-pack version. There's a bunch of different versions of this. The Recon Bag also comes in a 15-inch and 13-inch uh, size. I will tell you why you need the 17-inch in a bit. But um, real quick, I'm going to try to get through this bag. This is going to be a really long video because there's so many pockets on this thing. Um, I've had this for three months, a few months. Um, I've gone to clubs with this, I've gone on gigs with this, I love this bag. Why did I get it first off? Well, um, originally I was using one of those free Puma bags that um, were given out typically when you buy a pair of shoes um, in the back to school season around August. Um, that was from a year ago. But the bag was falling apart, um, it was very cheaply made, the, uh, the straps on the arms were really uncomfortable, and there was threads coming out, it just wasn't that great. And um, people were commenting on it, they are like, dude, you're overpacking this bag, and it's really uncomfortable, I wouldn't trust your laptop in it. And I've seen tons of people, DJ Flipside, DJ Z, um, tons of people in Chicago support this company. They're out of Chicago, and it's really just an amazing, amazing product. So, let me go through this real quick. Like I said, this is the uh, Recon Bag by Equilibrium. You have uh, the thing on the front, which is called the Skin. Now, uh, first off, it is removable, it is changeable, and it is customizable. A skin, when you buy the bag, comes with it. Um, you have a choice of a few different designs. This is the Chicago Red Line version. There's a different color for the different uh, lines in Chicago. And by line, I mean L, which is like uh, the subway of Chicago, but it's above ground and typically in the sky. Long story, you can look it up on Google. Red Line. Um, and doesn't really mean much more than that. But on the back side, you have loops, holes. Um, I'll get to that in a second. Um, of course, on the front, you have pockets. Um, I'm not gonna go in the main pocket just yet, or this back pocket just yet. Um, on the sides, you have, of course, more loopholes on the side right here. Um, the camera may not pick up everything. That's okay, just to work with me here. Inside here we have uh, a ton, a ton of pockets. I've got some little screwdrivers here. I have uh, some more pockets here that I don't really use. I have my uh, video hard drive, my music video hard drive right here with a cable, a spare cable. I have a bunch of USB cables for hard drives right here. Backup batteries for my wireless microphone and pockets that I just haven't utilized just yet. Okay, now on the other side, same thing. More loopholes. Um, open it up. This side is a little bit more stuffed. I have a uh, Behringer cable tester right here, a bunch of RCA, backup RCAs for uh, throttle boxes here. Um, typically, I have mini jack cables right here, but they're being used. My uh, earplugs, my musician earplugs, which I should stick in a bag somewhere. I have a little more loopholes right here for pens or whatever. Um, and up here, I have a bunch of flashlights, USB lights, um, clip lights, stuff to see, because typically, when I work, it's never bright. Okay, now to get into the main pocket, this is insane. This is the, the main cavity, and you can fit a Vestax VCI 300 in here, no problem. Um, this is the perfect size for any binder. It is a standard size, Feels it's great. Um, and here I have a little uh, Apple mouse, a pen, a bunch of more pockets. I have a, rack, a spare rack key here, a pouch full of more small adapters. Um, more loopholes. I'll get to this in a second. Because this little back pocket right here comes out. 
when, when I mention this bag is like Legos, everything in this bag, wherever there's loopholes or whatever there's Velcro, you can actually get extra pockets or extra whatever to stick wherever you want. Um, this comes with the bag. This is actually a wallet as well as pocket. Now, granted, I'm not using it as a wallet, but you can if you want. Um, so that folds up into a wallet. Um, I'm able to fit Sradabach, the Sradabach headphones, um, vinyl cleaner. <sighs> what else do I put in here usually? Uh, my uh, my uh, folio. I fit everything in this cavity. I mean, I, I have spare room. And plus, also, there's a bunch of secret pockets in this bag. Um, in these little side uh, pockets right here, there's Velcro here to keep it from the uh, to keep this connected to the lining. Um, you're able to hide secret stuff back there as well. Okay, now here is the the wonderful uh, laptop sleeve. Uh, you have a very soft um, felt kind of material. Um, you stick your laptop in here. Like I said, this cavity comes in 15 inch, uh, 17 inch, and 13 inch sizes. This is the 17 inch. Even though I have a 15 inch laptop, I got the 17 inch. Again, I'll get to this in a second. Actually, no, I'll cover this right now. Um, the 17 inch laptop, you can actually fit full size vinyl in it. Um, and since I'm a, uh, a vinyl Serato DJ, I always carry records with me. And so they fit in here perfectly. Um, I can't do that with a 15 inch. Um, plus with the 17 inch, I get even more room in the main cavity so I can fit more stuff. So that's great. Um, again, secret pocket right in, uh, there's a Velcro flap right here that you may miss um, that you can fit stuff back towards the back. Now this is when it gets really, really interesting. Um, the bag already seems kind of cool, um, but it gets even better. Uh, I've got two main clips right here and right here. And this folds back. Now you're like, whoa, what's going on? I've also got another clip right here and right here. Now this comes off. Now this is actually just the harness. Um, notice it has a very large curve to it because it hugs your back. And this is ridiculously comfortable. I can have my crane stand, my laptop, Serato boxes, um, backup Serato boxes, headphones, everything in my backpack. It's still really heavy, but because of the way this harness is, it hugs your back. It's really, really comfortable. Um, by far the most comfortable backpack I've ever felt, and I'm debating bringing this thing to school because, I mean, it is so ridiculously comfortable. Um, and I carry all my books with me, so it's pretty heavy. Of course, it's always adjustable, and then you also have more loopholes if you want to fit those pockets I was talking about before onto the, on here. There's cell phone holders, um, iPod holders, whatever, you can do that. Um, now the harness also actually has a separate pocket cavity. If you want, you can take this cavity, open it, you can fit uh, a camel uh, bag bladder in here and run the, uh, the pipe up into it. So you can actually use this as a uh, running bag and have water in it. Um, there's more pockets, of course, and there's more loopholes on the front here. Um, like I said, everything's expandable. But you know what, that skin I was showing you before that's customizable that you can actually get your logo printed on. If you're just running around town and meet, uh, at a meeting or whatever, you can take that skin from before and with four clips, snap it onto here and now you're rocking your logo around town when you're just running some, uh, some errands real quick. Um, this is always meant to be with you. It's customizable. Or if you want to go incognito, flip it over and bam, you got black. So. Um, there is actually a, uh, you go to the website, equnit.com, and you can order all the bags through there, or you can go to a kin in Chicago. If you live in Chicago or near Chicago, I highly recommend you go to a kin. I believe it's, uh, 1300, uh, North or South Halstead. I'll put an address right here. Um, talk to them and let you know that let them know that you saw this video uh, I'll make sure that there's contacts somewhere in here and we'll, we'll get some deal worked out um, but the people over there if you have to order it online you have to pay shipping and if you live in Chicago you also have to pay Chicago tax and you know Chicago tax sucks so uh, if you go to the store and pick it up you don't have to pay shipping and the tax you just have to eat that but it's cheaper to order it at the store and buy it at the store plus you have a wider selection of the skins because when you buy this bag you have a choice of a pre-made skin. Now, uh, on the side of custom skins, uh, like I said, you can get your logo printed on these. Uh, there's a template on equnit.com for uh, blank skins. 
Um, you basically design your, your whole logo, put it on here, and uh, I believe it's around $50 or so. They'll get it printed on here. They'll have the whole skin, everything here, the pockets and everything. It'll come with it. They send it to you, and you have your custom skin. Um, like I said, great, great advertising tool and very great, very high quality bag. All the stitching on this bag is insane. It is very high quality. I've used it for three months and I've had this thing packed solid. It's a ridiculously, ridiculously nice bag. Um, it's a little pricey, I'll, I'll give you that, um, but definitely worth looking into. I like it a lot better than some of the other bags I've seen. Plus, I trust it a lot better. It's made in the USA, I believe. I believe. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, but you know what? The fact that the company's out of Chicago, I have to rep them, and I love these these bags. That, oh, <laughs> they're amazing. I'm waiting to actually get uh, my skin made. I'm talking to my uh, graphic artist. Hopefully, get a roller guide and a frequency DJ's one made. So, if you know what, yeah, you know what, guys. Just this is a long video. There's way too much to see in this bag. If you need more information, go to equnit.com. Guys, practice and enjoy.